We're here today at the beautiful Edna Athens University and Teaching Hospital for a beautiful health expo that's happening, the first in our country, obviously from the Women of First who created such a beautiful gathering today. We're going to be looking at all the beautiful new things that they've done and to be honest, it's feeling like a 23 year anniversary because we have some of the first who were born in this hospital who are graduating today at the university. So we'll hear from them and a lot more. Let's go hear from the lady of first herself. <laughs> And Ardega Kuchir Takuli and Chamada, Kuliat Kastaha Kuchirani, Ardega Kuadi, Ardega Labad, Semester Walba, Wahan Sina, a content dollar of Almarina, or a Kusar Dasaden, the Richeda, Sare Egarin. Ardega one accent, Ardega one accent, Mangaanga Banaya. Ardega Ubahanush, Talimana San Hello, the Arbano, Ardega Rabinu Meldo, Cabartana, Melkara Hatago, Ardega Fian, Ardega Usar Hesa, Somaliland. Thank you very much. It'll be a full showcase of all the achievements and the beautiful quality of education that the Edna Adden University has added to the students and the community of Somaliland. Like this bus right here, pretty cool. That's one of the first achievements that you'll be hearing about today. There's many more, but yeah, let's check it out. This is the mobile medical bus. Partnership with Taiwan and Somaliland, as you can see here. Many hospital, a Magadi or Hospitala, Castle of the Ridder of the Taiwan, or no Western Malo in a no self cal screening coast, Malatomarca, Mara Yotor, Castra for the Minka, Mamakanka, Kisore, Anu, Sanadu, Don Beso, some in a part of Tafiria, Domarca, Domarcas Castle, and Barney, Domarca and Barney, Law Huduin, Pokon, Polypoto, Domar Huduin, Lewahan, Kahele, or Positive Nore, Lectomara Positive Nore, Intercord and Negative Nore. Now let's make our way into the expo and see what else is going on. Today we're going to have a demonstration of the capability of the university. We have all the faculties displaying their material and their students and their teachers uh, just to basically uh, reaffirm the great work that Edna the University and the hospital have been doing for the last you know 20 years or so. And I represent the dental faculty and we have a you know booth there with some students there, uh, that are basically manning it and uh, they'll be more than happy to, to explain and welcome you to that uh, incredibly uh, diverse and challenging place that's called dentistry and we will be uh, hopefully doing uh, a great service to, to the community and, and, and to the nation at large. Thank you. And how long have you been with the, with the university? I want to say about 11, 12 years. Oh, oh wow. I, I was basically the founder of the dental faculty. I'm the dean of that faculty yeah. and we started from you know, seven, 12 students. And now, mashallah, we, got, we have graduated hundreds and hundreds of students, you know, doing that. So they're doing, they're doing well. So it's the best thing I've done in my entire life. Oh, wow. Yes, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that's how, how good this makes me feel. It, it gives purpose to my life to see youngsters become, you know, young adults and responsible and out there doing uh, community work. Not only in Arkeza, but they are all the way into Eregabo, Berbera, Borame, everywhere they're there. So that's, it's good to see that happen. Amazing. Yeah. And you've heard it, that's one of the very many achievements that we've get, we get to hear today so far. So yeah. thank you, Dr. Mahdi. You're quite welcome. Okay. It's a pleasure. What makes it such a special and beautiful day is the support from foreign delegates, family and friends, team members, staff. And of course, it's not a Somaliland opening ceremony without the cutting of the ribbons. Let the expo begin. <laughs> We've been working the last 20 years together at WHO World Health Organization in Geneva. I was raised in Geneva. She was raised in Cairo. Then we shifted to Djibouti. So really, we, I admire her. She's like my mom, my Edo, my sister, my friend, and my former colleague. You see all those titles. And from, on the top of this, we are in the same you know, association, we form an association called the Friends of France Association, based in here in Argesa, and I'm the chairman at the time being. And she's our Marianne, what we call, she's our top woman. So today I'm really again and again honored and pleased to be here, this nice ceremony, and I did my blood test, everything is positive, I'm very happy. Okay, I'm actually going to go get my blood type figured out here. 
You told me that I can save my mom if I need to. We're the same blood type. Thank you. There you go. Hey, my mom. I have to that. There is a week, a week, a week, a week, a week, a week, a week. We also have an amazing nutrition booth outside here where you can see all the natural foods that you should be eating and getting all the information. ولكن لكن يوغت موحنا نوعير يرتويان بنعم وعطوين وحويان وعطوين سلام وراحنا لو قلت لك عليك راح يكون عندي وابيتكي وحويان لوسكي وكابشكي وافوكادري وروتري ما حد قسم السنين وين وحويان عطوين لو قلت لك عليك في دابيتس كسبحين كوبران تاسو سكرت ديك انا وحسامينا ولكن ولكن <تصفيق> Okay, we're gonna try some porridge. Did you say porridge tea? I wanted chocolate. You want chocolate? Yeah, thank you. It's made out of Ah, very nice. Thank you. Taste test. You were actually thinking about making um, sorghum porridge. You got it today for free. <laughs> Okay, we're just at the nutrition booth here. Actually, you can um, check your weight and your height for free, which downtown costs you 2000 to check your weight. <laughs> Anyways, we're having, um, some people call it uji actually, isn't it? Uji wa Swahili. It's Swahili, but okay, so it's porridge with chocolate. It's sorghum porridge. Bismillah. This is very filling. This is a crazy breakfast. Nice. So we got a new recipe here. It's not new, but they reintroduced it to us. It's always good to have these nice reminders from the nutrition department here. We're gonna go make our way back in because uh, it's not just about the faculties and the university. It's actually the entire hospital is here at one table. So let's go have a chat. My name is Amal Farah Adam. I'm a medical doctor at the Edna Adam University Hospital. I'm also the acting medical director. Welcome to the Edna Adam University booth where we are showcasing our services. We are 23 years old today. During those 23 years, we had, initially we started as a maternity hospital, but then a department and a department has been added. And now currently we have uh, six departments. We start with internal medicine, pediatric surgery, obstetrics and gynecology, and soon, hopefully, we'll be having a pediatric surgery department. Currently, we have two ICU, adult ICU and uh, new, a newborn or neonatal ICU. But then hopefully, as you know, the hospital now is being expanded. We'll be adding adult and a pediatric uh, ICU and HDU as well. Beside the other hospital departments, we have laboratory, a fully functioning laboratory, uh, where you could find all types of tests that you need, uh, as myself, as a doctor, so that I could diagnose and treat my patients. And we have a radiology department. Currently, we have a functional x-ray and, and different uh, ultrasound machines that are used for scanning patients and as well as an ECG. But hopefully, we are planning to get a CT scan. We have an, a hospital pharmacy as well that has all types of medications that are needed to treat the patients. Some medications are not found in the country 
we have a license to bring them to the country. Our goal is to expand and to help more and more people who are in need. About the free services today, so the opening days are on the 20th and 21st. On those two days, whoever who registered themselves, especially in the Department of Surgery, they will be having a 50% discount, and uh, whether it's in obstetric surgery, general surgery, we will have a Department of Surgery They will explain more, elaborate more about this services. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Shukri Muhammad Dahir. I'm a general surgeon at Edna Adler University Hospital. Here we, we do a general surgery for adults and for pediatrics as well. In When it comes in subspecialties, we do orthopedic. Uh, plastic surgery, neurosurgery, and general surgery. 65% of our cases are pediatrics, 35% are adults. This year we included a pediatric ICU, and so we will cover taking care of very difficult cases in pediatric surgical conditions. I'm Khalid Hassan Abdullahi Bergel. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist working here in Adnan Aden Hospital. I'm the head of the department in you know, of obstetrics. Today we are very happy having you here. We have here a lot of things to display, especially in our department. Uh, we are doing a lot of important special procedures. For example, we are managing every gynecological and obstetric cases, especially those complicated ones who are not managed before in the country. So, for example, here we have a lot of uh, machines that we are not available in the country, like we have lead electro excision something that you manage in cervical cancer. And we have also in colposcopy, which is also related to cervical cancer management. And we have also some other machines to display here for specially related to gynecology, like hysteroscopy, which is like a small camera that you can insert the endometrial cavity to see if there are any abnormality. So we are saying we can do a lot of, we can handle a lot of procedures. We are almost the same as other Euro European countries. And here with me, I have the Chief of Anesthesia, Mubarak Mohammed. He will speak about the anesthesia program at the Edna Aden University Hospital. Uh, thank you. And hello, my, uh, my name is Mubarak Mohammed. I'm the head of anesthesia at Edna Aden University Hospital. As we know, anesthesia is very important and crucial for the surgery. And surgery cannot happen without anesthesia. And then safe surgery cannot happen without safe anesthesia. So in the other university hospital, it's focusing about the surgery and anesthesia safety. There was a paper back 2015 about the global health of 5 billion people in the world. They don't get safe surgery, anesthesia, affordable and timely. That's why in the other university hospital is a center of training and anesthesia providers. So we started back 2013. So far, we've reached around 72 anesthesia providers. Here, I have a map to show them. So this is the Hargeisa. Mainly, most anesthesia providers, they're based in Hargeisa. But that's the eastern part of Somaliland. As you can see, the map, there is a huge wine population in the eastern part of Somaliland. But we have a very few number of uh, anesthesia providers. As they were saying, Global Anesthesia, World Federation Society of Anesthesiologists and WHA, they say there was a need of 20 people per 100,000 population, including surgery and surgeons, obstetric and anesthesia, to fill or to meet the gap of surgical anesthesia workforce. That's why we were training now. So when we train the anesthesia providers, it seems like you're training on a soldier. And then when you train the soldier, you send to the field with his uh, tools. So we send with this small portable anesthesia machines. We provide around 12 district government hospitals, portable anesthesia machine, which does not need a very fancy or fast thing, but this is very portable and people can provide any type of surgery safely. That's why we were getting, and then if I talk about a little bit in obstetric, there was another study done by WHO back 2020. They said every day, 800 mothers die. That is total percentage of Airbus. That means like every single day, if one Airbus crashes, 800 people died. So, and then those deaths, this is preventable. It's about bleeding, infection, preeclampsia. Those are all treatable and preventable. So in the first hospital also trained the doctors, nurses, midwives, 
to reduce the mortality and mortality rate. Also, we do type of surgeries called it cleave lip and balliates, which is a defect that the children born. They said every three minutes, one child born with a defect. So here and there's the main center in Somaliland that repairs the cleave lip and balliate for children. It's almost 12 and there's so many people still coming in because yes, it's full of information and good time. So there you have it, a beautiful day. It's open for two days, so come on down if you get a chance. Lots of good services happening here and it's just so nice to see friendly faces. And the Adam University event hall, so you can come down for the exhibition, get little bits of information, test. I saw someone getting their teeth checked out, so any of these services that you need. And honestly, just to appreciate a 23-year-old establishment that's been serving its country for so long with beneficial information and it's ever-evolving still. So we appreciate that, love to see it, love to be here to support it. Well, come on through, you can get lots of information. It's full of vibes, beautiful faces. Honestly, I might go get another <laughs> milkshake. Uh, milkshake. It tasted like a milkshake, but it was a porridge. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Leave us a like, check out the university links below if you need to, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.